People who care, dreams that matter. Creston Kootenay Foundation. From Riondale through Creston to Yak, our community foundation serves. With others, we support health, education, arts and culture, heritage appreciation, our environment. We work with the elderly, the youth, you, and our families. We encourage you who have experienced a Kootenay quality of life to give back to your community, your valley. Help us continue the growth and improvements in which you have participated and benefited. Dreams are financed from donations, generally from estates and bequeathments, but also from annual donations. All are placed with the Vancouver Foundation with annual revenues reinvested back into our Valley's registered charities. We encourage those so inclined to include the Creston Kootenay Foundation in your thoughts of an annual donation, a donation for a significant event in your life, or including Creston Kootenay Foundation in your will. Please share, give back. Creston Kootenay Foundation is a charity registered with Canada Revenue Agency since 2005. We are eligible to issue income tax receipts. Our board of 10 members are all volunteers. Should you wish to participate with the Creston Kootenay Foundation, please visit us at ckfoundation.com. Better yet, speak tonight with a foundation board member. Your assistance and participation in our valley is recognized. It is greatly appreciated. Please enjoy this film, which illustrates the wide range of activities which have benefited from the support of the Creston Kootenay Foundation in partnership with other valley charities. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Keith Brookfield. Kootenay Employment Services, or KES for short, has been serving the employment needs of the Creston Valley since 1990. At KES, we work with over 1,200 job-seeking clients each year, as well as numerous community organizations. The Creston Kootenay Foundation has assisted KES with several important initiatives, including our MoneyWise Financial Literacy Skills Program. With seed money provided, we've been able to provide 19 groups so far with a 40-hour introduction to the world of personal financial management. In addition, a spin-off program, Money Smart, has provided local high school students, again without charge, with vital information to help them build healthy financial futures. The Creston Kootenay Foundation has been and will continue to be a valuable partner in the programs we provide on behalf of area citizens. Thanks, Creston Kootenay Foundation. Hi, my name's Ben Reinhardt. I'm the head coach here at the Creston Judo Club in Creston, BC. The uh, Kootenay Valley Foundation has founded us, funded us really generously uh, in the past for a couple different things. One for a, a judo tournament to bring in officials and um, to have a concession and to um, also bring in some extra mats to help us out. They've also, some of the money has been used for um, workshops and uh, clinics bringing in instructors from outside of the Kootenays. We'd like to thank the Kootenay Foundation for all their generous funding and we look forward to working with you in the future. My name is Tracy. I'm a volunteer with PAWS. PAWS is a registered private charity formed in 1997 to help unwanted and abandoned animals in the Creston Valley. We're an all-volunteer organization and our mission is to rescue, rehabilitate and find loving homes for abused and homeless animals. And thanks to organizations like the Creston Kootenay Foundation, we've been able to apply funds to the construction of our physical shelter as well as to the sidewalk and the dog kennels in the back and to our lovely sign out front at the beginning of our property. Thanks. I represent the uh, Creston Valley Hospice Society. The Creston Hospice Society is a group of volunteers who have been trained to sit with people in the final stages of their life or who are shut-ins or chronically ill. The Creston Kootenay Foundation have been very helpful to us because what they've been doing is they've been giving us funds for various projects. Previous fund funding was for our training uh, manual and this is the latest one which is our brochure for the general public. Thank you very much. My name is Jean Sarchuk and I've been a volunteer with the Crescent Valley Gleaners now for 10 years a part of the amazing things that we do for our community the food bank and all the other groups within the community. Creston Valley Gleaners have been in service from, from 1983 uh, they put in about 30,000 hours of volunteer work each year and uh, there's about 109 volunteers that put in their time. We thank the Creston Kootenay Foundation, Foundation for their, for their support. support.
The Canyon Community Association would like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for supporting their centennial homecoming event in the summer of 2010. The Creston Valley Science Fair is really grateful to the support over about a three year period now. They've been with us supporting the uh, funding and starting up of our amazing science fair projects. And we couldn't do that without Creston Kootenai Foundation. They've just been so helpful every year providing funding to help us buy our uh, awards and our medals. If we could just keep the funding in place and just keep growing the program, those kids should be well on their way in grade 9 and 10 to probably go to nationals or to uh, yeah, do different things. My name is Bridget. I coordinate the TAPS program in Creston. TAPS stands for Therapeutic Activation Program for Seniors. TAPS provides a safe, accessible, supportive environment for seniors who for a variety of reasons have become isolated in their community. The Creston Kootenai Foundation gave funds to TAPS to install a commercial gas range in the kitchen. TAPS is now able to cook high quality food for its clients as well as use the kitchen during fundraising events. Creston Kootenai Foundation also supported the TAPS shopping program and the volunteer program. TAPS provides the seniors in the Creston Valley with good nutrition, health monitoring, a sense of purpose, social interaction, but most of all, they, it, it becomes a family. My name is Harmony Quinton. I'm a nurse here at Swan Valley Lodge, and we would like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for the flowers they provide for our residents. It's a wonderful surprise for them, especially some that may not get recognition otherwise. Thank you, Creston Kootenai Foundation, for the flowers you provide for our residents. The Creston and District Society for Community Living Therapeutic Riding Program is a unique program that uses horses as therapists. The Creston Kootenai Foundation has supported the Therapeutic Riding Program since 2006 by funding the purchase of equipment such as a child's saddle, safety equipment, mounting blocks and more. The Foundation has also helped fund the training of our head instructor by helping with the costs associated with the Canadian Therapeutic Riding Association Instructor CANTRA certification process. Earlier projects include the implementation of the CANTRA Rider Level Achievement Awards and funding for mandatory employer-related costs for a summer student in 2007 and 2008. We are truly grateful for the ongoing support of the Creston Kootenai Foundation. Hi, I'm Barbara Minichello. I'm a member of the Crescent Valley Rowing Society and we've been here on the river for about six years. So the Crescent Kootenai Foundation generously gave us enough money to buy a set of blades and this was a time when we had no blades so we were very excited for them to give us blades and it was you know we bought the new blades and they're very expensive so with that donation we were able to buy a set of blades and uh, they're lovely to row with and we were very happy and since then we bought lots more blades but that was definitely the start of um, our blade collection so thank you very much, Creston Kootenai Foundation. Hi, I'm Mary Jean Searle. And I'm Claire Bouchard. The Creston Kootenai Foundation has provided funding to Creston Public Health Nursing over a number of years. After the death of Sonia Sommerfeld, a public health nurse who worked for us for, for years, a fund was set up by her family that we've been able to access. We have used the funds for two projects one to purchase hospital grade breast pumps for families in the area and secondly to beautify the courtyard in our public health area. Creston Public Health Nursing has the access to four breast pumps. Two of them were bought with funds from the Creston Kootenai Foundation uh, with collaboration from families and the Creston Lions Club and those pumps are regularly loaned out to families with the greatest need. So we'd like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for your generous donation and allowing us to be able to do this. The Creston Valley Music Festival is an annual family oriented festival in Creston. They would like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for their support in the past. I'm Alexandra Hayes and I am from the Creston Valley 4-H Horse Club. Several years ago the Creston Kootenai Foundation helped to support our trip to the Lethbridge Research Centre and Old College. It was a wonderful experience for everyone involved. The Creston Valley 4-H Horse Club truly appreciates the sport, the support of the Creston Kootenai Foundation. You helped us bring together many of the ideals of the 4-H program and helped to make them a reality. Thank you. I'm Lindina Bambrick and I'm honoured to have been the Executive Director for the Kootenai Community Centre for the last 10 years. The organization was created in 1993 to bring the Safe Home program known as Urban House to the community. 
We want to thank the Foundation for providing funding over the years for furniture, air conditioning at our main office. We are really thankful of that come summertime. Um, our phone system upgrades, equipment for youth programs, and even the youth committee of the Foundation also gave a donation to Irvin House. So we're really all appreciative of the Crescent Kootenai Foundation's support um, for our agency and for the community and look forward to many more opportunities to work with them for the benefit of the community. Thank you. Hi, my name is Delina Tick. I'm the Executive Director at the Three Voices of Healing Society's Wellness Centre. The Three Voices of Healing Society is a non-profit, non-political service organization dedicated to the treatment of First Nations people suffering from addiction. Furnishings for the living quarters of the clients that we serve was provided by a grant from the Creston Kootenai Foundation. And a big thank you to the Creston Kootenai Foundation for their grant in order to accommodate the clients that we serve. The Creston Flippers Gymnastics Group is a gymnastics venue for children of all ages. They'd like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for providing the funds so that they could replace their older equipment. The new gymnastics mats will be used for years to come. Hi, I'm Linda Stewart from the Columbia Basin Alliance for Literacy. I'm the Community Literacy Coordinator for Creston, and we are a small literacy organization in 17 communities in the East and West Kootenays. We were given um, $700 from the Creston Kootenai Foundation a few years ago to run a preschool activity and literacy program in Crawford Bay. This was a great benefit to the community and we're very grateful that we were able to get this funding. Thank you very much, Creston Kootenai Foundation. Uh, my name is Judy Kirkby. I'm a member of the Friends of the Library. The Friends were formed to raise funds in the community to fund projects at the library that are not funded by the government grants. We got a CKF grant called the Library Steps Out and that was used to uh, inform the community of the services provided by the library and we thank them for that grant. Hi, I'm Major Sean Ferguson. I'm the commanding officer of 904 Air Cadet Squadron in Creston. I'm also the Air Cadet Instructor Cadre Officer responsible for the entire Kootenai region. One of the things that we also do is some fundraising to support the training. Uh, parts of the training that are not covered by the Department of National Defense funding. Some of this funding has come in the past from the Cre uh, Creston Kootenai Foundation, uh, lastly in 2007, in which the unit purchased uh, GPS units as well as uh, avalanche transceivers. Prior to that, in 2005, the Creston Kootenai Foundation uh, provided some funding to this unit and 904 used it to purchase musical equipment. I'd like to pass on a thank you to the Creston Kootenai Foundation for your support in the past and I hope to continue uh, working with you in the future. My name is Valerie Brooks. I'm one of the supervisors at Crest Ceramics. Crest Ceramics Society for the Handicapped has been providing services to adults with developmental disabilities for over 30 years. Throughout the last 10 years, we have gone from providing limited programs to ever 28 ever-changing programs. We have recreational, health and well-being, employment opportunities for our clients. We also have a storefront on Canyon Street, which is the home base for many of our community engagement programs. We are fortunate to have a strong partnership with our local schools to be able to enjoy students of all ages visiting us on a daily basis. The Crescent and Kootenai Foundation has generously given us funds in the past to enable us to, to partner with the Therapeutic Activation Program for seniors. With this money, clients from Crest Ramics were able to cook cooperative cooperatively with seniors and take nutritious meals home to freeze for future meals. Thank you. The Star Valley Jam Society has put on a multi-dimensional music festival in Crawford Bay for many years. The Creston Kootenai Foundation granted them funds for their festivals in 2007 and 2008. They're very thankful and the festivals were incredibly successful. My name is Sylvia Turner. I'm a member of the Creston Refugee Committee in Creston and we've um, brought through a number of families over the years uh, since 1979. Uh, the last family that we brought over was supported uh, through this foundation um, for that first year when we have to cover all their, their costs. And um, Georgina is here and she's from that family. Thank you to the Creston Kootenai Foundation. I'm Tammy Hardwick. I'm the manager down here at the Creston Museum. We're a community history organization. We do everything from the local First Nations on up to everything that's happened in the community for the past hundred and some years. Uh, the Creston Kootenai Foundation has really helped us in many ways. They've, they've helped us with a number of exhibits, our Lost Industries exhibit, for example. They give us the seed money. Being a local organization, they really know the, the needs of the, the community 
and they give us that first little bit of funding that shows we've got the community support that lets us get the funding from other organizations. Thank you to the Cresta Kootenai Foundation for being there and being an organization that we know we could go to when we have a project we need help with. The Kitchener Valley Recreation and Fire Protection Society has been in the service of the community since 1999. The Crest and Kootenai Foundation sponsored the establishment of the Horseshoe Pitch in 2008. Hi, I'm Dave St. Germain and I'm president of CIDO 97.7 FM, Creston Valley Community Radio. And we'd just like to thank the Crest and Kootenai Foundation for all their support in the past and uh, we hope to be even getting more. And so some of the things they helped us with actually was some equipment so that we could actually have more people come into the studio here, use the studio for live broadcast and also to do some recording if we needed to do that. Uh, they also gave us uh, funding towards some remote equipment. They also gave us funding towards a new antenna for broadcast purposes. And so that currently is over in West Creston at the Wildlife Center. So again, we'd just like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for all their support and anything we can do to help, we're more than happy to do. Thank you. My name is Carla Ahern. I work for the Creston Valley Wildlife Management Area. The Creston Kootenai Foundation has provided some grants for us in the past. Uh, one of them was for seasonal staff uh, to help us run some of our junior naturalist summer science camp programs. Um, and the other grant was uh, for audiovisual equipment to help us to uh, show movies and presentations at our Wildlife Interpretation Center. Without those type of grants, we wouldn't have been able to run those type of programs and projects. So it's really, really very much appreciated. Hi, my name's Sandra. I'm here on behalf of Guiding Hands Recreation Society's TP Camp to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation for their support for the last three years in helping with the Family Nature Weekend and helping low-income families be able to participate and be out in this uh, wilderness setting and learn about nature and uh, connect with community members and we're really thankful for the support for all the years. Hi, I'm Gary Hill, president of the Boswell Memorial Hall Society. We've had computer lessons here and uh, thanks to the uh, uh, Crescent Kootenai Foundation, they helped us buy, purchase a uh, computer screen and a compu uh, computer projector and uh, they were used, able to use that for computer lessons. So in closing I'd like to thank the uh, Crest and Kootenai Foundation for their funding to help us keep the hall going as it is and thank you for your time for letting me share a bit about our community and our hall. Thank you. The Great Creek Historical Society was incorporated as a society in 2002 and their mandate is to preserve, record, and make accessible historical materials relating to the Grey Creek area. The foundation sponsored their Fishes and Wishes and Fruit 1915 Diary of H. Colin Haddon by Janet Schweiner, which was published by the Grey Creek Historical Society. Hi, my name is Judy Gaddick. I'm a counselor for the town of Creston and the current chair of the Trails for the Creston Valley Society. As you can see, I'm standing on the Library Loop Trail that we've just completed. It goes along from the Centennial Loop Trail all the way past the library and it'll come out south of the library. We'd like to thank the Creston Kootenai Foundation very much for their help in funding this. The Brandon Salviolo Fund is a fundraiser created to provide a student in the Kootenays each year for scholarship of a thousand dollars to pursue a professional firefighting career in honor and loving memory of Brandon Salviolo. Good afternoon my name is Dennis Kemmel I'm a member of the Creston Rotary Club and one of the projects uh, we took on in uh, the year 2005 was to uh, build a spray playground in Centennial Park here. It was a uh, project that cost about $250,000 and that was raised through fundraising, club fundraising and also general donations such as the one from the Creston Kootenai Foundation. On behalf of the Creston Rotary Club I'd like to thank the Creston and Kootenai Foundation for their generous donation. The Creston Kootenai Foundation Youth Advisory Council was created in 2004 with Julie E. Washington as the leader of the group. The high school students involved in the council accomplished many projects including fundraising at food sales, children festivals, blossom festival, and art craft fairs. As a result, they received a grant from the Vancouver Foundation for the impressive amount of money raised. A huge part of the council is the creation of many of the murals visible around town. These murals can be seen in Teen Park, Canyon Lister Fire Hall, Jimmy's Pub, and even as far as Crawford Bay. The council also awards yearly bursaries for pro-secondary education. 
the community greenhouse at the College of the Rockies has been working over the last several years to educate as many young families and children as we can, teaching people in the community how to grow their own food. Um, and we've introduced lots of different educational programs for children, families, and seniors. Um, the Creston Kootenai Foundation really helped us out by uh, providing the funding for us to purchase a nice new greenhouse because we were uh, bursting at the seams with uh, too many plants and so many programs we needed extra room. So we really appreciate everything they've done for us. For the Creston um, mm -hmm. Kootenai Foundation, you've been an absolute huge part of this expansion because it was so Our goal is to make this greenhouse totally acceptable for both seniors, children, and uh, and those with any disabilities. The Crest and Kootenai Foundation uh, goes back in history, but we became a foundation in 2005. Uh, we look for community partners. When Rand was talking about the greenhouse, the food coalition was talking about, there was a role for us to play. Crest and Kootenai Foundation is here for our valley, Yak through Crest and to Riondel and uh, we give you income tax receipts if you want to help us out and that money uh, goes directly back into helping things happen in Creston Valley. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.